Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good gnomes, goblins, and Hearthstone card pack openings. Today we are going back to one of my original video styles and we are going to be recording a card pack opening for Hearthstone. Now, Blizzard has recently released a new expansion pack known as Goblins vs Gnomes. It's a very steampunk, mechanical, explosion -y type expansion pack. And you can see here, these are card packs. So, I've not done one of these in a while, but I like to take my time with it and introduce each card as I'm going along with a few thoughts about it. Now, I'm no Herbstone Grandmaster, but I'll try and do my best anyway. So, let's take the one pack over. I forgot how good the animation and style was. And we have our first pack open. Now the card pack you see is a limited edition Warlords of Draenor expansion collector's edition card pack box set expansion for World of Warcraft. And I've got it activated at the moment. So, we'll always start at the top and go clockwise. We'll leave the rear cards to last and we'll open up any uncommons we come across as we're going. So, our very first card we have here is an uncommon one. So we can just skip by that. Wait, that's rare. Sorry, the blue is rare. Now, I don't know what any of these cards are. I've avoided pretty much all uh, Goblins vs Gnomes spoilers, so they're all new to me. But without further ado, I'm sure keen to get on Let's see, what do we have? We have, oh that's a nice card. Velen's Chosen, a priest card. Give a minion plus two, plus four, and spell damage plus one. So if you think about it, it's uh, Is it worth, I suppose a two, four is normally four mana, is it? or 3 mana. It's, it's probably the problem of just adding in an extra minion. So maybe it's, it's... It might be good for trading, but you always run the risk of putting two cards on one and then losing it. Still, it's, it's nice enough. Then we have our next uncommon card here. Let's click and open it up. It's a burly rockjaw trog. Whenever your opponent casts a spell, gain a plus two attack. Four mana, three five card. That's a good trade card. I can take out a couple of three cost minions. And potentially also runs the risk of your opponent buffing it. I like that. We have another uncommon card here. Let's see. Let's use the bottom left corner to turn it over. And the Shaman Whirling Zapomatic. A Wind Fury. Two cost, three, two. That's a decent enough card. It's got to survive a turn, but. 
after that point in time, it certainly could cause quite a bit of damage, I expect. But yes, it's not a card you'd put down on its own without at least having your reward clear or some way to protect it due to the low two health there. Let's move up now to our last uncommon card and turn it over. The Ogre Brute. A 50% chance to attack the wrong enemy. 4-4 four, four for 3 mana. It's a good defensive card, but that 50% chance to do the exact opposite of what you want for me is a I wouldn't play it, it's, it's too risky for me. Now, we have our rare card. Um, I always like to see which way I'll go and turn it over. From the bottom, from the left, from the right, uh, from, from the right there, or from the top. What do you think? Let's start from the bottom, work our way up, and then turn it over. It's the Cobalt Guardian. A 6 3 for 5 mana, but whenever you summon a mech, gain Divine Shield. So you can see this card is a mech. Now that's a Shaman card, however, if it had been a a normal card or a pal or paladin card that would gain divine shield. Really, you it's going to at least cost an extra one mana to make full use of it there, so it could be good, but it's hard to tell right now. Let's move on and grab our next pack here and start from. The top right card now. Oh, that's a rare. So we'll move down to the uncommon one here and turn it over. Spider tank. It's a 3 4 for 3 mana and a mech. It's a solid card, good for defending against 3 2s. Because it'll take one down and still be left alive. This is our next uncommon. Let's open it up from the top right corner. The Mechanical Yeti. Death Rattle. Give each player a spare part. It's 4 for 4-5. Four, and spare parts are 1 cost spells with minor effects. Oh, it'll be interesting to see what those are. And this is our next uncommon card here. Let's use the top left, flip it open, and we get the ship's cannon. Whenever you summon a pirate, kill two damage to a random enemy. So two, three, four, two, with an extra effect. I, I don't know if there's other pirate. Uh, cards in this deck, but pirates were a huge thing. They were a, a small tribe, so to speak, in the basic packs, but it could be okay for a bit of fun. And we have another uncommon card. A shielded mini bot. Two for two two and divine shield. That would work well with the other the Cobalt Guardian from the previous pack, but again, to get the extra Divine Shield, you really have to play it around the same time, due to the low initial toughness of 3. So, let's choose what side we reveal the card from. Let's go up, then slowly, we can go down turn it over. A Gnomish Experimenter. Draw a card. If it's a minion, transform it 
into a chicken. So you run the risk there of uh, losing a good minion, but you do get to draw a card. To me, far too random to be worth it for 3 mana. So, we'll grab pack number 8 there. Or pack number 3, depending on your point of view. So, let's go down to the side. And we have an uncommon, which we click to turn over. We annoy a Tron, a taunt. Good Divine Shield, tough little card, a wee mech as well. And yes, you can see it could get quite annoying, especially in the early game. And we move to the next uncommon card, and we click Druid of the Fang. It's 5 mana, if you have a beast, transform this minion into a 7-7. Seven, seven. So that could work very well. Off the top of my head, I don't know if there's any Druid Beast cards, but there are standard Beast cards available to Druids. Now we go to the top left corner. uncommon is the mech warper. Your mechs cost one mana less. It's a two free only for two mana. It's quite a good card especially for a mech aggro deck I suppose. Ooh, and we have that one common. So it's, it's our rare sorry. And let's jump to our uncommon one here. The goblin auto barber. It's a 3 2 for 2. It's a fairly consistent with 3 2 and 2 3. But it gives you weapon plus 1 attack. It's an early game minion, which gives the uh, rogues an extra bit of boost to their weapon. So we've been from the top and the bottom, I believe. I could be wrong. But let's go in from the left and turn over this card. We have the Bomb Blobber, deal 4 damage to a random enemy minion, 3-3 three, three for 5, and it's one of these ones that you really hope you get the right minion when you attack it, when you play it. A bit too random, and it is only a 3-3. Three, three. So, we'll move on to our 4th pack. This is our uncommon card. So let's click it over and it's another mechanical yeti. I suppose it's the same as a, a, a regular root yeti I believe but gives the spare part card. Ooh, an epic card. Let's leave that one until later. And an uncommon card. And back to our common, so let's get this common card opened up. A stealth 2 3 Gelblin Stalker. Is that a decent enough card actually? Um, I believe you get a stealth 2 1 for 1 mana, so it gives you a nice buff of health on that to maybe take it a target and be maybe have a little bit left. Let's open up this card. A pirate, a salty dog, 7 4 for 5. Really only useful if you've got a pirate card, a pirate deck. It should be better with uh, the 7 4 or 4 7 legendary, probably. And it is that 5 mana bracket for a lot of cards, which you do get a lot better there. So don't think it's going to be the best option. So we've got one more rare card to go.
school, but we'll just move over. Duck empty investor cards. Slide up and go in through the right side and turn it over. The shaman power mace. Give a friendly death rattle is give a friendly a random friendly mech plus two plus two three power two durability for free so you need to make sure you've got a mech available there once you break it so we have this epic card keen to find out what it is let's go in from the right we'll squeeze down between the power mace and turn it over Junk bot. Whenever a friendly mech dies, gain plus two, plus two. So definitely geared towards a mech tribe deck there. We use a lot of mechs. Again, not entirely sure if it's worth playing or not at that five cost. But I suppose if you sacrifice a few minions, it might be worth it. So halfway through and I think we've done not too bad coming up so we've got the uncommon in the fifth card slot and the top one is a common so let's just click and open that up it's an explosive shape death rattle deal two damage to all minions so one one for two cost. That could be an exceptionally annoying card for everybody. Also a mech there, so could be fun. Some uncommon again. Let's click it from the very top if I can get there. Click. And it's another mech warper. lot of mech cards there. Let's move down to this one and use the middle. Let's turn it over from the middle here. It's another goblin auto barber. Give your weapon plus one attack for rogues. So we've got the last uncommon card here. Let's click on this bit of gnarled wood and it's a floating watcher whenever your hero takes damage on your turn gain plus two plus two so every time you life tap I suppose you're also gaining a plus two again that tricky five cost where there's a lot of good cards but that could be a nice card to play just remember and play it before you life tap. So we've got the blue rare card here. And I think we'll go in from the top where it's nice and easy to slide down and turn it over. A Mistress of Pain, a 1 4 demon for warlocks for 2 mana. Whenever this minion deals damage, restore that much health to your hero. And that looks to be quite a nice card. Well, 1 4 for 2s are always nice. Good to get rid of those low cost 1 1s and 1 2s that are annoying you. So let's go into the second half and drop a card here. And move back up to the top where we have an uncommon card again. Let's click on this bit of knot in the wood. Mage Flame Cannon. Deal 4 damage to a random enemy minion. Good if the opponent only has one minion really. But otherwise it's maybe a bit risky to play. It's a 
another one come in here. Let's click. Deal three to six damage. Overload one. Shaman. That's quite nice. It's always going to be at least a lightning bolt. With a chance to be a little bit more. However, you're almost guaranteed that it's going to be free damage when you need four. So this is our next uncommon card. Click. It's an eight mana, seven seven with divine shield, force tank max. As a mech, but I think the fact that it's such a big card means that if you're playing it, it's probably going to get his divine shield popped off by a low cost dominion. You're not going to have much chance to protect it there. Now, let's move over to this one and click a piloted shredder. Summons a random two cost minion, four for four free. That's quite good, that. Like, good value. I'm not sure if it comes from your deck or not. Or if it's just a random from a selection. That could be quite a good card. So let's move up to our not uncommon card. It's a rare. Let's slide in. Just squeezing in between the pile of the shredder and going through the top bottom the middle there and let's click vitality totem at the end of your turn you're still four health to your hero two mana for free so it's, a, it's really a two mana heal yes it could be good your opponent's definitely going to have to get rid of it somehow but at the same time, how much effect for two mana could you do something different? Like crackle. Let's anyway move on. So let's place the card in from the top and pop it open. one over. It's an anodized Robocub. Taunt and either plus one attack or plus one health for two mana. That's quite a nice little card there. Definitely get to tailor it towards your opponent and what they've got on deck. I think that could be a good staple for druids. Oh, we've got our uncommon card here, so let's jump over to the next one. And let's click on this bit of the star. Flying machine, 3 mana, 1 4 Wind Fury. Wind Fury, 1 damage. I just don't see much use in that card. Hmm. Let's move on to the next one up here and open it and we get another Druid of the Fang. Again, there's a lot of cards in this 5 mana range, range rather. So let's move up here, forgot we're not on this one. And let's click on it. Warbot in rage, plus one attack. That's a good one power for one mana card actually that. This turn two it's maybe going to be a two two. Or two one or two one. Hmm. Anyway, let's move down. Squeezing 
past the druid card here. Time we go along and back up. And let's hover over and turn the card over. A metal tooth leaper. Battle cry gives your other mechs plus two attack. That could be quite good actually. I'm not sure if it's just for one turn, but it looks to be permanent. Free for free free. It's a solid card that if you've got more than one or two of a mix. I like that card. I think that could be a good one. It probably isn't. card a burly rock jaw trog three five or four mana fairly solid but also helps to protect your opponent from casting spells let's move on to the next uncommon Tinkerer's Sharp Shot Sword Oil, goodness. Give you a weapon, plus free attack. Combo, give a random friendly minion, plus free attack. It's maybe a bit too expensive. That's our uncommon. That will skip over. Another craggle. Another mechanical yeti. That's our third one. So let's slide in and turn this one over. And we get another cobalt guardian. Two packs left. No legendary so far. Let's move swiftly on and open this uncommon one. A Cogmaster has plus two attack while you have a mech. It's a one two. It's okay for a one card, but it's probably better one, please. Oh, another epic in that good lucky top left corner. Let's jump over that one and get a Dark Bomb. Two mana, three damage, plain and simple. Can't argue with that, but Warlocks do have some nice two mana cards already. And here we have the Uncommon, uh, a rare rather, and uh, here we have the Uncommon. Let's turn it over. And another crackle. Hopefully that's not telling me something. It's probably the worst card in the game. So let's just squeeze up by the dark bomb and move over and turn this over. Paladin Scarlet Purifier. Three mana, four damage, three health. Deals two damage to all minions with death rattle. Ah, so it's the anti death rattle card. Really against Naxxramas minions. So let's squeeze and go through the side and over the Cogmaster and then to the left of this epic card. Demon Heart, 5 mana, 
deal 5 damage to a minion. If it's a friendly demon, give it plus 5, plus 5 instead. So it's an option, it's also maybe a, a game clincher to boost the minion up high. But again, it's a big mana dump. And a card being played. Let's just move over and open up our last one. Our last uncommon. Let's click another floating watcher. Our last uncommon, hopefully. Another shielded mini bot. That's a rare. Will this be our last uncommon? Stone Splinter Trog. Again, another anti spell casting 2 3 for 2. Plus 1 for each time my opponent casts a spell. This is my last card. Is it a legendary? It's an uncommon. Let's click and turn them over anyway. It's one of those ogre brutes. So our last card will it be gold and shiny or will it be a cobalt guardian? Let's find out. Grove Tender. Give each player a mana crystal. For each player, draw as a card. 2 4 for 3 mana. So, which of those cards looks the best for you? Anything there you particularly see? Anything there that you think is a very good card? Thanks very much, everybody, for watching. It's been a good little exploration. I'll be back soon with more card openings. Bye bye.